You already know who it is. It's your boy Zell. And uh, man, this issue right here that I'm having, I'm sure many of you guys are having this. Studio One, y'all got to fix this shit, bruh, for real. Like, this has been a pain in my neck, bruh, for real. So, what I'm talking about, before I talk about it, please subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video, help the algorithm, and uh, comment if you guys have a solution as well, because it's some bullshit. Um, so, pretty much, like, when you do a loop, it clips. Like, for example, when you go back to the beginning. You hear that? That clip in the beginning. I don't know if you guys cared on that one, but every time you bounce a MIDI file or a MIDI track to a wave such as this, and you can probably hear the clip. So what I did to try to solve it, um, I, you know, dragged out my note past the nine and I bring it in, but even that don't work sometimes. See, it did it again. So here's the way I, I have to solve it. There's two ways. But I'm going to show you the main way. So here's the first way. And like, I don't like doing this because you're fading out still even some part of it. It's gone now, but like that's that's fucked. Because what about when you're doing like a bass line or, you know, what if someone with a good ear can really hear this shit? I mean, I can't really that well, but I'm going to show you what I do. So control Z. Let's control Z all this. All right. So. Let's bring it all in. Here's what you have to do, sadly. Sadly. Studio One, y'all got to fix this. For real. It's kind of like how FL Studio has their issue with um, every time you export, there's like a gap in the, you know, in the beginning. You have to slide it over. All right, so you have to literally arrange your beat. 250 seconds. You have to arrange it, right? Once you arrange it all in MIDI... You have to highlight it all. Make sure you know how you arranged it and that you want it like this. Press G for merge. Or right click and go to merge. Right? Now you bounce it. Which I ain't going to do. But now you would bounce. You know, like let's just say I did this one right here. Now you'd bounce it. Oops, that's... My hi hats, my bad. Uh, but like this one right here was tripping. So, so now just assume like your whole track is arranged, and um, this is the only way I know. You have to do it through MIDI. And again, comment if you guys know another way. You have to do your mixing after you arrange it, like all that, because I do my mixing in the WAV file. You could do all this in the MIDI too, but it's just not the same. And you guys could hear the clip, like even when it bounces. I don't get it. But right here is the end of the song. And then it did it, but it doesn't loop. And then you can cut it off here because usually you're fading the end of a song anyway. And that's it. And just know the whole time it's looping. You didn't have to either fade it out on, you know, loop. It's just, it's straight through. It's merged. So this is what I've been doing lately. Um, this sucks. Um... You know, just keeping it real with you guys. This is a big flaw of Studio One. This is this is so big, Studio One can't continue to ignore it. Um, and so, um, either they fix that or it's something that I'm going to have to consider um, switching over to FL Studio for or something else when uh, I need to make beats because it's been, it's been really, really difficult. Um, so, uh, yeah, man. Again, if you guys know how to fix this, let me know. Um, it's all love. Um, I hope this helps somebody out.